With three rounds left in the 2023 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, the GTP field is tighter than ever. For teams arriving at Road America, the pressure to perform is at a new level of intensity. The journey through every race weekend starts here with Michelin tires. Tire strategy on Road America's recently paved surface can easily define who emerges victorious and who goes home early. Out of the 10 teams in the GTP class, seven are still in contention for the championship. The number 31 Cadillac is the points leader, but this two hour and 40 minute showdown on an unpredictable track surface could belong to anyone. One mistake, one missed opportunity, could flip the script for the entire season. But before any of that happens, the tires must go on the car. So this new surface at Road America is very tricky. What, what would you describe it like compared to any other track or track condition? Road America's Already a difficult circuit, the layout is fast, high speed, really high commitment, and with the new surface being so new, it's like you're driving on a wet track with a single dry groove on slick tires. We're so lucky in America to have racetracks that are just iconic and fast and dangerous, um, and here at Road America we've seen lots of incidents. I'm a little spooked because if you go offline here, it seems to be chaos. Yeah. That's why there's so many guys crashing, because they get caught out by that. Ooh, very unusual. With GTP, I can't tell anybody how any race is going to go. Every race has been super tight. There is no room for a mistake. I think the season as a whole, for all the classes, has been mega. The racing, some of the racing has been the best, you know, I've seen for a long time. 95 yeah. In a sprint race like Road America, grid position is crucial. The stronger in qualifying, the greater the odds of a podium finish. And with the championship at a dead heat, every point counts and everyone's on edge. Oh boy. Oh, oh 0.03. Put it down, boy. I can't put that lap down. Well done. He said two and a half. Track a little bit by a second. Yeah. Yeah. Track record by a second. Is it really? Yes. With a blistering qualifying lap, driver Pippo Durrani puts the number 31 car of Wayland Engineering Cadillac Racing on pole. The number 25 BMW of BMW M Team RLL and the number 10 Konica Minolta Acura ARX 06 are in hot pursuit. Now we just gotta do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting race weekend here at Road America. Nice bowl lap yesterday, yeah. Doc. Good luck today. On race day, the morning warm up is a final shakedown session for teams and their cars. GTP cars are a challenge to drive straight out of the pits on cold tires. Balancing speed and tire temperatures to maximize performance is a driver's top priority. car is difficult as is to drive with warm tires so you put that on a, a cold track cold tires it can turn on its head in an instant and in a heartbeat the number 31 Cadillac championship leader in pole position comes in with heavy rear end damage. With just under two hours until race time, team mechanics swing into action. Skates. Skates. Yeah, 
Yeah. Has this happened before? Yeah, I mean, yes, it has. If they're not out there for the recon laps, then, then they've got to start from the pit lane, and then they have to go drive through penalty, so that's a, an even bigger headache than they've got right now. They have 50 minutes to get this done. Fifteen minutes till they have to be ready. Yeah, it'll be close. Copy, so we're not considering it a pit lane start, we're just considering a back of the class start, so he will be just starting with the rest of the field. No drive through? Just start the oh, good. That's good news. The repaired number 31 Cadillac makes it to the grid, but loses its coveted pole position. It starts from the back of the GTP class. So I'm proud of the whole team to get the car back together, make the start, and be back in this race. You know, we're, we're, we've got everything to fight for now. Green flag is in the air, and we're racing. Two hours and 36 minutes of the two hours 40 to go as we go green for the first time. You don't have any laps to be conservative. You know, you've got to try and be on the limit of the tyre the whole time. And another BMW problem, just coming out of the kink. BMW just went off. 25 is in the dirt. Yeah, that car's done. Two mistakes early on by Conor De Filippi, well, who's been talked to by the safety team. It's just like on ice down here. The track is very new, so it evolves a lot. It's very tricky. Offline is what the drivers are saying, which, which uh, makes overtaking very difficult. For most teams, Road America is a two-stop race. Three really good laps here, then it will be a driver change. You saw in the race, every team chose a different tire strategy. Because the track is clockwise, you load the left side, and that's the one that you put the most stress on. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the teams only changed the left side tires. The good thing of going back out on a hot tire is you don't have to wait for it to come up. Into the pits, the leading number seven Porsche and both Acuras, number 60 and number 10, all take on a full set of tires. The second round of pit stops, the number seven Porsche takes on left side tires only, the ones taking most of the beating on this clockwise track. It's a half second advantage over the trailing number 60 Acura, which takes on four new tires. Betting more grip and a faster pace will close the gap. They had to take the four because they were behind, they needed to go on the attack. <laughs> They really, really closed up and got within a few car lengths at the end. Less than two seconds separate the top two cars. In the end, the number seven car of Porsche Penske Motorsport takes its first win. The number 60 Acura of Meyer Schenk Racing with Curb Agajanian in second. In third, it's the number 10 Konica Minolta Acura ARX 06. And as of today, the championship leader even without a race win this season in this Knife's Edge GTP competition. For Wayne Taylor Racing with Andretti Autosport, consistency is paying off. It's been a while since we've seen a championship this close. Any manufacturer in the GTP class can win this thing. Absolutely, that's the thing, like even though that Wayne Taylor Acura took the championship lead, that number 31 Cadillac is within one position of second place. So second place, all they need to do is finish ahead of them in the next race, and they could take that away from them. On the next Win the Weekend, it all comes down to 10 hours in Georgia. Last stop, the 2023 Motul Petit Le Mans and Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta.